Okay guys, so I thought about how I'm gonna do this video. I've been thinking about it like for like a week, right? I wanted some big introduction. I wanted like another one of those 12 minute rants or speeches or goals on, you know, everything that I want to do this year, everything that I want to do this competition season. But then I realized I that doesn't matter. I don't want to be the kind of guy that talks so much about what he's going to do. It's episode one out of episode one, whatever. And I'm already like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be awesome. Get ready guys, like, you know, Look at all these accomplishments I haven't even achieved yet. I don't want to do that. Do I have a lot of goals? Yes. For this channel, for my physique, for this series. But I'm not going to go into that. I would rather show you guys. I want to be the kind of person that says less and does more. That's it. With that being said, guys, welcome to Ascension Episode 1. Welcome to the official start of my competition season. The lane boat is over. It was good. I enjoyed it, but we're done. I am not doing this to look good on the beach. I'm not doing this for like, you know, oh, look at all this and all that. No, I want to bring my physique to the best it's ever been. Last year, I did that. It was the best physique that I've ever had bar none in terms of size, in terms of conditioning. However, it wasn't, it wasn't ready yet. It wasn't 100%. I got sick the week before my competition. That set me on a path and I got close. I got to like 90, 95%. But that 5% has eluded me for so long. It's been months and I want that 5%. I want to ascend to the best physique that I ever had. I want to get to like the Super Saiyan physique, the Super Saiyan 3 physique. I want that. With that being said guys, again, less talk, more do. Welcome to Ascension Episode 1. I will be competing this year. I'm not sure where yet because Australia is new to me. I don't know the organizations. I don't know the competitions. I don't know anything. All I do know is that I'm going to do whatever it takes to bring my physique to the best possible condition, the best possible size, the best possible overall package that it has ever been. I'm going to show you guys everything and I can't wait for it. So without further ado, welcome to Ascension episode one. see if there's like a brand or a tag on the back of the shirt but you couldn't find anything so um <laughs> I just got it from winners and it was on clearance <laughs> I can't see it because it's obviously it's on my face, but Jordan says that it's kind of like sort of deep. So that may have been a bad idea. Um, the camera I was holding, it had like a swivel and it kind of like, because the water force and everything, it just went and the thing just went up and hit me in the face. And then I gave it that. I don't know, it's like, it's small, but it's deep. So <laughs> I may need stitches, I don't know. So it's about six o'clock. We're gonna go for a workout. I think I'm gonna be doing back and biceps. I worked it about three, four days ago, so it's feeling good. I think it's ready to go. Two things which I am doing for my pre-workout routine. Number one, a crazy amount of water. We live in a hot country, so like literally, you know how they say you need about it's like three and a half to four liters for a guy my size. It's now it's not just a suggestion. It's like do it or you're 
You're not, I was gonna say you're gonna die. You're not or gonna, you're dead. You're not, you're not gonna die, but you're gonna have a bad workout. Talked about this in previous videos, but a big reason as to why people feel bad, feel groggy, feel tired, feel weak, is simply because they're dehydrated. So if you're getting two liters of water, you're not gonna die, but you're not gonna feel as, as good as you would. So I'm gonna have a good, like, half a liter to a liter of cold water, and my pre-workout is gonna be, this case, my Thermo by uh, my protein. I usually take my pre, which is their, like, signature standard my protein, uh, pre-workout powder, but I couldn't, because, like, I couldn't fit everything in a suitcase when I was coming. I'm like, hmm, should I take, like, pre-workout powder or, you know, my laptop? Ooh, it's a difficult situation. So I just got this, because it's nice, it's simple. Um, it's got like caffeine and it's also got this thing called tea cream, which I think is made from tea. Either way, I use this sometimes as a pre-workout and sometimes just as like a stimulant to kind of focus. So it's kind of like sometimes for the gym and sometimes like literally I'll wake up in the morning and instead of a cup of coffee, sometimes I'll have that. Uh, also because of the caffeine, it helps uh, with intermittent fasting because it blocks your appetite and it just like helps you focus, helps me focus at least. So whether I'm in the gym or whether I'm working, but either way, I'm going to have that and uh, see you in the gym. Okay guys, so I don't know if this footage is going to be, you know, doable because I might come home, throw it into my editor and it turns out the sound is absolutely terrible because of the wind, the ocean, the everything, but we'll give it a try. So I wanted to kind of like close out this little first initial vlog, this little entry with a few things talking about like what's going to be happening. I've already started working on episode two and it's gonna be just a full day of eating, showing you guys my meals, because you guys seem to like that, showing you what I'm doing when I eat out, what I'm doing when I eat at home, my macros, things of that nature. But this first video, I just wanted to introduce, you know, the series in Australia. A few things I wanna to touch upon. My goal this year in regards to physique, specifically, I'm a big proponent of setting realistic, but specific goals. Not just like, I wanna be awesome. I want to be bigger. I want to look like Arnold. Yeah, okay, we get that, that's cool. But specifically, what do you want to do? So my goal this year, I want to be about 7% body fat. Not eight, 7%, just a little bit more conditioned than I was last year. Similar, but just a little bit better. A little bit more dry, a little bit leaner, a little bit more vascularity. Um, it'd be nice to have actually, for the first time, get quad separation. I've never had that before, because my legs are always like lagging behind. Body's at like 8% body fat, legs are at like 14, but we'll give that a try this time. In addition, I want to be at that conditioning level, but a little bit heavier in body weight, uh, probably around 175. Last year I was about one, like 170, 172 at the most on stage, and I'd like to be a little bit heavier than that. Now, I know you guys may be thinking like, well, you know, why are you going up like, what, two, three pounds? Why don't you aim for like 180? Well, that's not really realistic, right? I mean, I've talked about, you know, in the past, once you've been training for a while, which I have, I've been training for well over a decade now, your body is going to reach certain limitations and certain limitations in regards to how much muscle you could put on in a single year. This is because your body's become desensitized to training, to proper nutrition. It's pretty much the opposite of noob gains, where you're able to put on a lot of size, a lot of muscle very quickly. We're talking like 15, 20 pounds of lean muscle, and insane amounts of strength, like 50 pounds on all your major lifts. You're able to do that in your first year of training, assuming you train and eat properly. When you've been doing this for over a, you know, over 10 years like myself, it's the opposite, it slows down. Does it suck? Yes, welcome to life. You know, that's, that's how it works. That's how the human body works. There's nothing you can do to change that. The only thing that I can do is understand and work with it, work around it. Uh, this is all covered in an article by Law McDonald. It talks about uh, the ability to put on muscle, how it kind of like degrades over time. It's pretty much like the law of diminishing returns in economics, similar concept. It's gonna slow down. Does it suck? Yes, but once again, as long as I accept it and I set realistic goals, a goal such as coming in at 175 shredded. Even though last year I was like 171, 172, and a little bit less shredded. That means I put on three pounds of lean muscle mass, maybe three or four pounds, better conditioning. If I can do that in a year, awesome. I'm happy with it. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, guys, I wanna be 190 and shredded because that's not gonna happen, or at least it's not gonna happen in one year. And to be honest, with my genetic capabilities, it'll probably never happen. I'm okay with that. I've accepted that. That's why I believe in setting realistic goals. Another goal is I want to lean down very quickly. One of the reasons why I did a lean bulk this year, and I kept it fairly lean, the heaviest I ever got was like 192, which is still pretty lean considering the year before. I got up to like 205, 208. That's going to make this cut a lot simpler, a lot easier, and a lot faster. Yeah! This year, hopefully that'll be a little bit easier because, like I said, um, I'm only around like high 180s right now, 186, 188, fluctuating around there. So 
Last year, I was only 188 after cutting for like a month or two. So this year, it's as if I'm starting a month or two ahead. It's like I'm halfway there already. Not really, but next up, a couple other awesome things I'm working on with my channel specifically. So collabs. I don't want to talk about any specifics yet, but I'm actually working out with someone tomorrow, someone located right here in the Gold Coast. A few of you guys have commented on my social media, my Instagram, you said like, you got to meet up with this person. Well, I am. And I've already met him once. He's an awesome dude. And we're going to do a workout tomorrow and uh, probably the, you know some more workouts in the future. So definitely going to collab with that individual. I'm looking forward to it. And another guy. Now you, a lot of you have probably already guessed who it is, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. I'm not going to spoil the details, but I've been, uh, I've been talking to this guy for a long time and I'm super excited that we're going to be able to finally collab together. We live pretty far apart, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that, but it's going to be an awesome video. I already know it. I've wanted to do this for a long time. We've been talking about doing this for a long time, for months now. We're finally going to get to do it right here in Australia in the Gold Coast. Can't wait. Another thing is meetups. A lot of you guys have reached out to me on Instagram and in my emails, my inbox is just blowing up, uh, YouTube comments. It turns out I have a pretty decent fan base here in Australia, which is awesome. Thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. You know, my, my now I can say my fellow Aussies. Aussies? What did they say? Aussies or Aussie? I don't know. Point is, yeah, you guys. I've gotten a lot of comments saying like, are you guys coming to Sydney? Um, are you and Jordan coming to Melbourne, to Brisbane? So Brisbane, yes, 100%. We're not sure when, but we're definitely gonna hop, you know, hop on a train, go down there for a day or maybe a few days. So definitely gonna do a little bit of meet up there. Um, Sydney, we are gonna be there in May. We already booked our ticket. We can't wait to see Sydney. Uh, it's a beautiful, massive city. Uh, city. It's like, it's like the New York of Australia. So definitely gonna be checking that out. The only city we're not sure about yet is Melbourne. I don't wanna cross it off the list, but then again, some of this stuff happens like really last minute, right? And the plane tickets like what, like, like at most a hundred bucks round trip even. So we're going to be here for like, you know, six to 12 months. Anything can happen. There is no way I'm writing Melbourne off the list just yet. I would like to do so. Uh, but yeah, so those are the three cities which I would love to visit while I'm here, potentially do little meetups or something. So guys, let me know down in the description below, you know, you can write down a comment, say, would you be interested in doing a meetup, you know, in your city somewhere here in Australia? and uh, we can do something. Like, I, I just wanna like meet you guys and maybe do like a big ass workout or something. I don't know, like, I've never been the kind of guy to be like, all right, I'm gonna stand here and you know, you guys can like crowd around me like I'm some fancy ass celebrity. No, come on down, we'll eat some food, we'll lift some heavy shit, and it'll be just awesome in general. Or hopefully it will be. Actually it will be, 100%, damn right. So that's it guys. Uh, it's getting a little bit dark, we're on the beach right here. You got Surfers Paradise in the back. You have like all the clubs and the restaurants and everything, and it's just a beautiful city. Also, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was, what the hell was that? Okay, sorry. Oh, it's, oh, this is cool. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why I shouldn't be just like kind of vlogging and walking down the beach because you might step on one of these. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is actually a jellyfish pretty fresh one too like it literally was probably alive it may have just washed up when that water came so scary thing is these if you step on them they could still sting you so the fact that I'm just kind of like walking around like ah, like yeah it can mess you up but in the meantime that's it guys thank you so much for watching episode one of the ascension series I can't wait to show you guys the full series with the lifting the eating everything about how and what I'm gonna do to bring in my best possible physique ever and uh, I'm gonna show you guys everything and uh, stay tuned. Uh, douchebag beach physique check. Oh, shred. Oh, God, I have a lot of work to do.